Stop worrying about things you don't need to worry about. Those things include things that you simply don't need to worry about and things that you should worry about, except you can't change them, so there's no use in worrying about them. If there's nothing you can do, there's nothing you can do. If there is something you can do, stop worrying and just do it. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that. Some things you really don't need to worry about. Realize whether you even need to worry about it. For example, I have classmates that are always worried about exams. Uh, I'm not even going to say all the stupid crap they are always saying and worrying about, but it's really simple. Stop worrying. If you study and know the stuff, you'll pass the exam. If you don't pass the exam, guess what? You can retake the exam later. So instead of asking the professor, oh, how's the exam going to be? How many questions are there going to be? How many, what are the questions going to be like? What are the questions? Shut the fuck up. Just study the stuff. You know the easiest way to be able to answer the questions? It's not by knowing how many of them there are. It's not by knowing what kind of questions they are, like if it's multiple choice or if it's this or... It's not by knowing what... I mean, actually, it might be by knowing the actual questions. You just memorize the stuff. That's what people love to do. But the easiest way to be able to answer any question is just know the material, and then you can answer all the questions that have to do with the material. Um... I'm trying to think of an example of something you really don't need to worry about, but people worry about too much. Uh, I don't know. Say you invested some money. You took some money that you don't currently need, and you invested it. And the stock market crashes. Stop freaking out. That was money you didn't need. Now, if it's money you needed, well, that was a big mistake, and you should figure out what you're going to do to get some money because, well, you shouldn't have invested it if you needed that money. But assuming you took money that you don't need for survival, and you invested it, stop freaking out, stop worrying, just leave it. Wait a couple years, wait a couple months, wait a couple days. Nothing you can do. Selling it when it crashed is not going to help. You're going to lose your money. I don't know. People just need to use a little bit of logic and stop worrying so much. People love to worry. It's like everybody's favorite activity. Worry, 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 worry. Okay, now to the stop worrying and take action. Oh my god, uh, we have a big test on Friday. Oh my god, this, oh my god, that. And I'm not super religious, but I don't, and I don't know the technicalities, but I don't think I was saying God's name in vain. I'm not sure, but I mean no disrespect to God. Um, stop freaking out about it. Stop telling yourself, oh my, it's so many, it's so hard, I'm gonna fit. what am I gonna, what you're gonna do is shut the fuck up and just go study. Go for a walk and then go study. Go to the gym and then go, stu go study, then go to the gym. It's not complicated. Just take action instead of stressing out. People love to just waste their time stressing out and worrying about things instead of doing something. Um, not that it came as a surprise to me, but like I live in Belarus, and when Russia invaded Ukraine, I did oh, I thought it would... Uh, I gotta get out of What am I gonna do? Like the other students, they all freaked out. They're like having nervous breakdowns and uh, they all flew to Israel for two weeks. Like, what, you think war was only gonna last two weeks? When's the last time that happened? <laughs> yeah, idiots on the news like to say, oh yeah, Russia claimed it's only gonna take two or three days. Yeah, where did Russia claim that? I, 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 I don't know, maybe they claimed that, but I don't think they did. War never takes like two or three days. Show me where that's, I mean, 
when you had the Nazis, they did a pretty good job. So yeah, I can't say it's never happened. Um, some people can pull it off. Most people can't. But what I did, Seth, is I just bought a bunch of food and water. Well, guess what? Actually, I didn't need to buy that much water because I brought water filters with me months in advance because I thought that we might have World War III. Actually, I thought we might have World War III in the summer, but luckily we didn't. Um, I made sure to bring water filters, and luckily here I can buy antibiotics and antivirals. And I also keep a sponge in my bag, so if there's water on the ground, it's not too much water, but I can sponge it up, squeeze it into a cup or something, and use my water filter. I brought space blankets, you know, these like foil blankets you can put over yourself. Uh, yeah, stop worrying. Either prepare or take action. If you didn't prepare, we'll take action now. If there's time, prepare. But if it's too late, just take action. People love to say, oh, well, you're, you worry too much about things going wrong. You should stop worrying so much about, like, war and stuff. It's like, I'm not worried. I do this stuff so I don't have to worry. You don't do this stuff, and then you worry and freak out. Yeah, like, I am not worried. If there was a missile coming right next to me, I would be a little bit worried. Uh, but I would decide to take action if there was some sort of action I could take. Um, yeah. I, I don't understand how people like to say, no, oh, those preppers, they're always freaking out about, no. Uh, I mean, maybe some people are, but like the whole idea is you do this and you're secure, as secure as you can be. And you rest calmly knowing that you did what you can do and whatever happens, happens. And that's ultimately what it comes down to. You can't... It's like if there's a nuclear bomb coming, are you gonna start freaking out? Oh my god, what am I gonna do? No, you can't do anything. It's like... Especially like if I'm here, high up, what am I, I can't go underground. It's... I don't know, I guess I can go in the elevator trying to get down to the ground floor and look for... I mean, probably somewhere there is a little tiny underground area, but I mean, if there's a nuclear bomb coming right on me, probably not going to matter too much, but you know, I'd probably still go down there, like, see if I can make it. I once had a dream that there was, uh, I mean, you don't need all the details, but like, I looked off in the distance and there was a... I thought it was fireworks at first, but it turned out to be a nuclear bomb, I was with some family members, and my first reaction was, I need to run the opposite direction. And then I thought, that's pointless. The distance that I will get further away is not going to make a difference. The only difference is if I survive it, now my family is over there and I'm over there. It's going to be hard to find each other afterwards. So I decided to just stay with my family right here. My dreams are very realistic and preparatory. Um, and another thing is, I might have to make another video on this. Shut the fuck up unless what you're saying is gonna help something. Like when there's some sort of situation, people love to just blah, 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 It's like, shut the fuck up. Do something, and if you're gonna say something, say something that matters, that actually is gonna make some sort of difference. I bet lots of people wonder, like, why aren't you responding? Why aren't you saying anything? Well, it's like, there is nothing to say besides shut the fuck up and you stop saying as much. I mean, I just really just shut the fuck up. I, so many times I want to say it to people, but I don't say it because I got to get along better. Not better, good. I'm, I'm currently getting along good with my classmates. So often, I just want to say, shut the fuck up. It's like anything that can be complicated, they love to complicate. Uh, it doesn't help that they're not the most intelligent, that they have to memorize all the questions for the exams instead of just understanding. Talking is a tool 
It's not just a radio to hear some noise. The purpose of talking is to accomplish something. And I love that what a TV show said. I think it was Designated Survivor and some people were in an elevator and one guy told a woman that there's a difference between action and progress or something like that. And it's very true. Just because you're doing stuff doesn't mean your stuff is getting you anywhere. Just because you're talking doesn't mean you're accomplishing anything. You can be accomplishing just as much or more by shutting up and figuring something out instead of just... AndrewHutchings.org for consultations on health and fitness um, or tutoring for science or medicine or whatever. No medical advice, but it's not advice if I don't tell you to do it. It's just medical information, and that is completely legal, so I can give you that. And I have a book, A Systematic Guide to Defeating Tendinitis. Very logical, like everything I said in this video. It's just get the job done, get it done right, and don't fuck it up afterwards. Uh, and it only takes like one month. I recommend you go on Amazon, get it ASAP, get the fastest shipping, get rid of your tendonitis, live life pain-free. You only got one life. I, mean, I waste some time doing these videos, but I think it's important to spread some intelligence to the world. And my Instagram is natural underscore true underscore fitness. And yes, that's a large part of why I do these videos because you never know if I drop dead tomorrow, how can I help spread intelligence in the world? But at least if I have these videos, some intelligence can keep being spread.